From the previous video, that was all the easy stuff we could do with the polygonal lasso tool. That is a good tool to use just to block out shapes, but if we have some refined curves, for instance, a reflection line in this Bronco and some of the edges of the vehicle, the pen tool is a better option. So I'll show you how to use that. Let's grab the pen tool. Let's also go to paths. You can go to window paths. And I'm just gonna start out here with the main side reflection. What I can do here is just start out a straight line. And then I wanna just kind of block out this area where I wanna add in some black. And we can draw a nice line around this tail light here and the top of the tail light. And if you hold down your option key on a Mac, I think it may be the same on a PC, you can drag around your handles as you're drawing these paths. And there's a hinge here. I ultimately want to get rid of that, but let's just keep drawing where we want this reflection line to be. And anytime there's like a little cut line in a vehicle, like a door opening, it's always good to leave a little bit of a highlight. So that's what I'm doing here. And then we get down to the bumper here. I just want to continue that black part right there. And there's the bumper. And I'll just kind of block this area in. There's a tailpipe right there. And now I want to go around this, this wheel arch, this fender. So let's follow the cut line where there's a, a fender flare. And this is where the pen tool really comes in handy because you can just follow these curves really nicely. And I want to leave a little bit of a highlight around this wheel opening. So let's go down to the bottom of the vehicle here. And let's just drag this handle till we match that curve. And again, I can hold down the option key and I can just drag this handle. And for the front fender flare, let's just get the bottom of the vehicle here and I want to make a really nice curve where this is too. And again, we want to leave a little bit of a highlight around that wheel opening and we can finish off the front here. The next thing we want to do is let's name this path. Let's just call it side, tap OK. And let's go into our layers, make a new layer. And what I can do here is go to Make selection. Let's have our feather radius at zero. That way there's no blurring out of the edges, but we can leave anti-aliased on. That'll help our edges look a little smoother and nicer. Tap OK. You'll see how there's a selection here. Let's go back into our layers and just go edit fill. Fill that with black. Now there's a couple areas that I want to essentially erase out. Like I want to get rid of this hinge. I want to get rid of some of this black area right here and maybe do some stuff to the bottom of the vehicle. So let's select inverse and in this same layer, we're going to use the hard round brush and you can size your brush up with your bracket keys. And we just want to paint white. Again, we've selected inverse. So we have the outside of this main selection selected now. And we can just go in there and paint out these areas that we don't want to see. And the bottom of the vehicle here, I want to just paint white so you see the tire and the bottom of the vehicle real clean like that. The only other thing is if I turn that off, there's also a hinge that I'm missing, these two door hinges that are, you can't see them now because I've filled that all in with black. A couple things you can do here is we could go in, let's turn this fill that we just made, let's turn the opacity of that layer down just a little bit. We could go in here and we can erase out that hinge. This bottom door line right here is pretty clean. So we can erase that out as well. It gets a little messy in here. So let's not worry about that. Let's also erase out where this top hinge is. And if I turn that opacity back all the way, it's starting to look a little better. So if I turn back on the opacity of the main photograph, you'll see that we're missing the hood line here. We're missing a little bit of the roof line and the back left corner of the vehicle. But you'll remember that we have a path for that turn off the opacity just so you can see it a little better. And what we can do is let's just use our path selection tool. That's the black arrow tool. 
And we can go and just select that outline path and let's go into our layers and make a new layer and let's get our brush tool and let's turn the size down to, I'm guessing about nine pixels will look good. We also wanna make sure our foreground color is black and we can go over here in our paths and go to stroke sub path. So let me actually, you know what? Let me just go turn off all these layers and let's go to stroke sub path. We'll tap okay. You want your tool to be the brush and that has applied a nine pixel stroke to the whole outside of the vehicle. So let's turn back on our black and white layers. Now obviously there's some areas where we don't want this. So let's deselect our path by just clicking off of it. And let's go in here with our eraser tool and you want the hard round brush. And let's just erase out some of the areas of this stroke that don't look too good. So let's start with the tires here and maybe the bottom of the vehicle and around the tire and the shadow and we'll just get rid of some of that because it, it starts to look a little too clean and outlined if we, if we leave that. Let's save this as Photoshop PSD file and we'll call this Bronco Working 6. Tap save. 